Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. We're playing as Bosnia. This is going to be the war episode uh, for the... It's going to be the Scandinavian conquest of Riga. So Riga is under attack from Scandinavia. Take over that little section there. The war is going to involve Scandinavia, Bosnia, and Russia along with Riga, Florida, Krakow, uh, all the Spanish colonies and Spain. So we're probably going to get attacked by Spain because Russia and Scandinavia are going to work on this here. Um, so we're probably going to get destroyed again. So sit tight and let's see what happens here. Hungary no longer considers Bosnia as a rival. Okay. That's interesting. Maybe we can... I cannot remove a rival at war. Okay. What are we looking at? Let's get a... Hmm. Oh, look. Our little guy switched over to the line infantry. So we are a white and blue uniformed unit. Hmm. Interesting. So we're just going to hang around and see, actually, you know what, maybe we can maybe we can march up to Krakow. Let's get some... Uh, well, we need to increase our... Come on. Our... Uh, it's already up. I thought I lowered the army maintenance. Maybe I lowered the wrong one. Let's get two more infantry, and then maybe we'll move up and attack Krakow. The election, we are going to go with a bureaucratic candidate again. Good. Let's check on that. That's almost done. The war goal of Riga is almost occupied by Scandinavia. Hey, oh shit, Krakow's here. Ooh. All right. One, five, and three. All right, let's see if we can deal with this guy. Come on. That one month automatic pause gets you. I want to make sure I have enough units. I know that these th places are getting occupied, but they can get reoccupied quickly. I want to make sure I have enough men to fight these guys off, especially since he's got a way better general than I do. <coughs> All right. All 
All right, so we're in the hills. He's going to be attacking us. Does he have a penalty? He does. So he's going to have a river crossing penalty and uh, the hill penalty. So we're going to get some bonuses here. But let's actually see if this goes in our favor. Jesus, it doesn't look like it's going to. We're already taking a significant morale hit. And we're going to lose. Yep, we're going to lose. All right. Well, the Krakow army has completely walked over us. Even though we were in the hills, even though they had a crossing penalty, and even though we had more regiments, we still managed to lose. And now we're retreating all the way back up to Russia. And in the meantime, while we retreat all the way back up here, Krakow is going to be completely occupying Bosnia. So this is going to be another episode where Bosnia gets completely destroyed by a foreign army. A, another one. Really getting pretty tired of it, honestly. But what can you do? What can you do? It looks like Russia is going to be coming down to join and hopefully wipe out this Krakow army. Okay, now we can march back. Let's march back. Thank God Russia's coming down. And Russia is an ally of us because they are a subject of Scandinavia. Okay, now that we're back, we're recovering, but we're losing a ton of money. We are losing a ton of money. So we need to get rid of probably two of those cavalry units. Let's see. Select this one and disband it. Hopefully that brings us out of the negative. Hmm. Not quite, it doesn't look like. Nope, so we're going to have to lose two more regiments. Oops, I don't want to disband the whole thing. Okay, so we got rid of two more units. That should hopefully bring us up a little bit. Uh, we're still losing a bunch of money. So we will need to create another unit and get rid of maybe two more. And disband. All right, so now we're starting to make money. However, we have a very small army. And what happened here? We got new technology. That is going to be the absolute rulership. So we will take that. And we can change the government type over once we get enough points. So we're going to have to get 100 administrative power. We can change the uh, government over. Currently, it is a grand republic, a noble grand republic. And we will switch that. We'll switch that over once uh, once we have enough administrative power. Okay. War should be close to being over. Krakow. So they're going to have to take Riga and Krakow probably and then s do something with Spain. Spanish are up here causing some problems. Fortresses under siege. Okay, so, right. Okay, good. Good. The uh, Krakow is back and they are going to destroy us no matter what we do. So we're just going to fall back to the capital and just maintain uh, a position uh, in the hills of uh, Visoki, our capital. 
And uh, once the Krakow army comes and they destroy us, we will see what happens. So we're just going to let them take over all of these territories here because we do not have the power, as we saw earlier, we do not have the power to take them on. Uh, no matter what type of terrain they're in, no matter how many regiments we have, we can have more regiments than them. We can have a number of terrain bonuses and they will still destroy us. So we are going to sit here in the capital and just wait and wait and wait. Hopefully... Russia or somebody else comes back down and takes care of these guys because we cannot do it on our own and we probably for the duration of this gameplay um, until the end of the game in 1821 will very likely not be able to prosecute any wars against anybody because we are just not strong enough. So we are going to let the Krakow army ravage our lands, destroy our crops, burn down our villages, rape our women. We will let them do that until somebody much more powerful and much more capable comes down and helps us. A new coin. In times past, the the does used to be one of the used to be on the reverse side of the coin. Now the republic rejects such personal such personality cults. If we were to issue a new high purity coin, we can improve people's face in the coinage. And of course, all should remember who did this. We can reject the reform, or we can let the new coins be used. We're pretty much getting rid of past kings. We're getting their faces off the coins. And um, we're going to let the coins be and lose 10 Republican tradition. The siege of Kosovo is over. The Krakow army has occupied it and they're going to occupy some more territory until somebody else can come along and take care of them for us I suppose actually why don't we just leave? Why don't we leave and go work on Krakow's territories? They're going to destroy us anyways. So we might as well try to make some use of ourselves and go up where they have no troops, where I hope they have no troops, and occupy some of their territories. A peace offer from Riga. Bosnia will be forced to give Riga 10% of their income each month? No. No, we're not doing that. Alright, so Russia is coming down finally. We do not have enough men, as you can see up here, to occupy their capital. We don't have enough men to take that over. Now, peace offer from Riga again. They want 10% of our income. We're not going to take that. I, I don't know why they're they're trying to demand a peace deal from us. I, I don't understand that. Now, Great Britain has shown up, and they've left. A bountiful harvest. We gained 20 ducats. <coughs> All right. So it looks like Krakow now is coming back up here, or they're going maybe into Russia. Scandinavia accepted peace from their enemies Krakow. 
a white piece. So we are no longer useful here. We are going to go back down because Scandinavia has uh, formed a peace deal with Krakow. We are no longer at war with Krakow. We get our provinces back. Truce with the Papal States. We'll probably be attacked by the Papal States at some point shortly. They seem to have something against us. Okay. And I don't know why I don't I really don't know why Riga keeps trying to demand a peace deal from us and make us pay. I, I, I don't understand that. I don't know the reasoning behind that. Oh. Yeah, we can invest in a new technology. And that is going to be this. I'm going to keep... I'm not going to advance that yet because we might we might take another diplomatic idea uh, sometime in the near future. And that reminds me, we can switch our government over. To hold on a second, I, I need to I, hold on. A Republican dictatorship, right? So, with a Republican di dictatorship, we gain uh, ten uh, plus ten percent on the morale of the armies. Tolerance of heathens of plus one, and monthly autonomy change of minus 0 0.10. So let's take the Republican dictatorship. Okay, fine. All right. Let's form a white piece. Let's just be done with the war. And let's unrival Hungary just for now. Poland. No, we'll, we'll keep it the way it is, I guess. They unrivaled us. I thought maybe we'd unrival them, but... Well, I don't know. Okay, so we've unrivaled them, and we're going to revoke the embargo. <sighs> okay. Military access. We will accept that military access. <sighs> All right. We've lost a claim on Leica. Okay. The Hungarian Conquest of Dalmatia. So now we're at war with Hungary. And they have an incredibly large army, as you can see here. They have 32 regiments. We have our 10. That is all we can afford. And it's hungry. It's it's every everybody. Everybody's coming in. So we're just gonna. Army's under attack. We're, let's just let them kill us. We'll let them kill us. Okay. And we're just gonna let them. Let them do what they will. Austria is uh, occupying this territory here.
Did I see that's Polish? So we're just gonna we're just gonna blow through this quickly. Black news. The okay. A new Lord Protector. We now have a new ruler. <coughs> Lord Protector, they call him. And he's not protecting shit. Siege of Isoki is over. We have finally fallen. The plight. Hold on. Austria is occupying that. Fine. Okay. The plight of Raska. All of, Bos all of Bosnia suffers in war, but those provinces which lie in the path of the enemy suffer the worst. What appears to a soldier or commander as a convenient source of supplies is often all the common people have. The outskirts of Trov Trogvist has been plundered in this war to the point of starvation. They are now reaching out for the government to aid them in recovering lest the suffering of Bosnia drag on for years past the eventual peace. Whatever is necessary, we will provide, and we lose 16 ducats, or the money is best spent winning the war, and we're going to give them the money because we're not, we're, not, we're not spending anything in the war. We don't have an army. We're not, we're, we just can't. Diplomatic move. Diplomacy between the nations was often affected by random factors from both sides involved. Most of the time, these factors were beyond the control of the foreign ministers involved. We can appoint new diplomats or improve relations with the neighboring states. We gain 10 diplomatic power in Austria's opinion of Bosnia changes by plus 30. We'll take that one. Still no alliance. Oh, well, I, I didn't mean to click that. Uh, we can inherit in technology. The Karchers, we get a bunch of new military units. The Winged Hussars, Cossack Cavalry, and some new artillery. Which will be coming up shortly. I thought I, th I thought that was the one that we unlocked, but it was this one because we had spent some points, so it knocked it back down a little bit. Not good. We lose 50 military power, so that's going to go down even more. Now our ports are blockaded. Fortress is under siege. So we're just going to scroll back this way a little bit. So we don't have to watch all those units jumping around. Okay, we're back. The peace deal has come up. Uh, Hungary has sued for peace, but they're they're not they're not trying to take Dalmatia like they wanted to. They they want us to pay 120 ducats, and they gain no prestige. Fine, that's that's all they want from this peace deal is is some money. Okay, so now the war the war is over, and we didn't lose a bit of land. We didn't lose one bit of land. We still have a bunch of manpower left because we didn't we didn't field an army. Oh, I I don't know. Overall, I mean, some of these wars that have been uh, prosecuted against us, the peace deals have been absolutely terrible. I don't. They're not taking any land from us. They're not trying to, you know, force religion upon us. I don't know what they're doing. I think that they're getting way too exhausted from fighting our allies that they just they just start a peace deal with us and try to get whatever kind of a deal they can um so i so here we are again another war is over and we're we're still where we were before the war started essentially except without an army so we're gonna stop it here we're gonna pick it up next time i thank you guys for watching don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and follow me on facebook and all that stuff we'll see you guys again